Welcome back, everybody. Maria and I are in Christmas Corner celebrating the 10th anniversary of Countdown to Christmas, where, as you all know, we re-air some of our holiday favorites every single Friday night. Tonight's movie, The Christmas Cottage, is actually the inspiration behind your DIY project today, Maria. Yes, oh, Cottage. I love The Christmas Cottage. Yeah. Just talk about cozy. This is a cozy movie, and it stars our very good friends, Merritt Patterson right. and Steve Lund. We love them so much, and you can see them here, all cozy in the cottage. And of course, the cottage plays a very crucial role in their love story, and this, I will say, I cannot wait to watch again tonight. It's just one of those ones you can watch over and over again. Yeah. I've been loving the Friday movies. They're, it's great to yes, see them again. I know this is one of your favorites. And I know the cottage has a special place in your heart, too, bringing does. you back to Michigan. Yes, I'm a Michigan girl. So anybody you talk to in Michigan either has a cottage, has a family cottage, or has friends with a cottage. So this one is near and dear to my heart. So when I think of a cottage, uh, at Christmas time, of course, I think of stockings. So I wanted to think of a really great decoration that would hold the stockings, but also keep that sort of cozy cottage feel. And that's what I have over here, these birdhouses, and I have them How in a few different ways that would that? fit perfectly into your Christmas cottage. Okay, we're gonna make the one in the middle there, uh, right? The, what do we call yeah. it, guys? So Cinema? that, yeah, that one I think would fit perfect in this movie. I could see it as the decorations in there. So that one, and it smells really good, so I'll show you how you can go about doing that. Beautiful, so yes. what's the first step? The first step is, okay, we have our birdhouse here. So okay. these birdhouses you can get at the craft supply store. This is just a wood birdhouse. They're extremely inexpensive. And your first step is to stain it. So for these, I thought the stain was really great. I think it gives it such a rich look. And Cameron, if you want to go ahead and help me. Well, I'll do my best. <laughs> yeah, so I'm not sure we stain, can call it help. Oh, you're so helpful. With the stain, okay. what you want to do is grab a brush, preferably like a bristle brush like this, uh, instead of the ones that are spongy. You could do it, but this will give you a better result. And you put this on there, and after you do that, okay. I'm actually going to wipe it off. Got it. And you see how that blends it in, and you can do this other little bit okay, there. Okay, there we go. So what you got is basically do the paint or do the uh, stain, yeah, and then wipe it. And so you can see it just goes right into the wood. You want to go with the grain of the wood too. And look how beautiful that is. And it so really you see, this is beautiful. much lighter than the one that I have over there. Yeah. But if you continue to do this a number of times, it will soak in. Or there's so many different types of uh, of stains out there. You can see the one that's gray next to it is a stain as well. So you can go about doing that any way you like until you achieve the color that is. I like this dark like. stain here that we're going to be yes, working with next. So then we once we got it all stained, we have to let it dry. Yes. And then we start decorating. Then we start decorating. And okay. actually, it will dry really fast, too. So oh, you don't okay. have to wait too long. Great. And so for the decorations, this is where I got, uh, you know, in the cozy spirit of the holidays. I think of uh, the scents of Christmas. I think of cinnamon and star anise and those very, and not yeah. only do they smell good, but they're, look how beautiful that is. It looks like a cabin. It looks like I a mean, cabin. It really does. It and looks like a cottage. And so to create the, the uh, roof for my cottage, what I wanted to do was to grab these beautiful cinnamon sticks. Now you can get these online in like a big package and uh, and that's they come just like this and you just use them. So what I did was the hot glue gun uh, just to secure them on there and it, they actually secure very quickly. And it's just How a lot of this. And, and not only will these, these will keep too. You don't have to worry about them going bad or anything like that. Spices always stay like I'm this. Serious. I mean obviously you can't cook with them afterwards. They make for great decorations but the scent will stay there. Get the cinnamon. Yeah. Yeah, the cinnamon and the star anise. And yeah. you just keep going with this, Cam. Okay. If you have any open spaces like that, you just go in with like the smaller ones and you can always fill there. But and you've I got another little you. technique to fill I those spaces do. too, right? Oh yeah, you can, so to fill the spaces, I have this side already done. Cameron, I'm in, you know puffy paint, right? I do know puffy paint. Okay, good, I'm just checking. I'm an, I'm a product of 80s crafting, so I'm well, an 80s baby. To, check <laughs> to make sure like I'm up to speed on some of these crafting. Yeah, crafting like little, puffy uh, paint, it's yeah. a very technical thing. I mean, I can't tell you the number of t-shirts I had as a child that were decorated in puffy paint. So with that, what you do is, I'll show you since it's very technical, you go in like this, and you fill the spaces with the puffy paint, and that kind of looks like you know it I could look do like that, snow. Right? It could look like the spackling. Yeah, uh -huh. I, you know I've got to take over there. And while I'm doing this uh, very detailed, difficult yeah, work, uh, tell us about some other decorations. So with this, I use the star anise, and what I love about this too, you can see it comes like this. The so star anise is a spice. If you aren't familiar with it, you can get it online, just like the cinnamon. They come in a big package. They're absolutely wonderful. They smell. Not only do they smell good, but they're so beautiful. And look at how like rustic that looks right there and I just attach it with a glue gun and you just keep doing that and they will dry and uh, add that decoration and you could do this in a number of different aesthetics so you can see I did the white one over there it's a little whimsical and you can do the uh, the one that's in front with that other the gray color there with the, I did also did some puppy paint uh, to make it look like snow yeah. that is like I said it's another stain but it's also more of like a, a modern type of style so whatever your cottage is 
You can choose from these. Super mm -hmm. Christmassy. Mm -hmm. Now the key is, of course, making this actually into a stocking holder. So we got to get that hook on there and do it well. So yeah. what do you recommend? For so that? the hooks are really easy. You get this at the crafts, or I'm sorry, you get the hardware, hardware store, store. And all you do is uh, put a couple screws in, and then you're good to go. And there's the hook. But as we all know, if we try to uh, hang stockings yeah. on our mantle, mm. we have to have a good weight to our stocking holder. So uh, this is way too light. What do we, we do? We want lots of presents. We want, so <laughs> we want what, what you want to, you can see that I have the, that all in here. It's very secure. Yeah. So what you want to do is you could either fill it with something like sand or rice or rocks because it just put it in the hole or you could fill it prior to decorating with some plaster of Paris because the plaster of Paris was is comes as a you know right. liquid when you mix it all up and will harden and in there. And it hardens like in there. Just yeah. to be clear, we're putting rocks inside the holder, not rocks inside the stocking. 